Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the Political Brown Kid. I, I really have to read this. I really have to read this article because you all really need to see the gravity of what's going on here. This is an article that was in um, NJ.com. I have no idea what NJ is, but it's an advice column. So this is a Dear Annie, widow who connects with eight men online, says, not one has come to meet me in person yet. So again, this article is on NJ.com. It's in the advice section, and it was published on June 10th, 2024. I'm just getting around to doing this stuff because, like I said, I've taken a, um, you know, I've posted a few other things, and I've had other things as a priority. So here's what this article says. So th this lady writes, and it's by Annie Lane. So I'm assuming Annie Lane is the dear Annie in this. So one woman writes to her, Dear Annie, I am new to online dating. I started up with it after my husband's sudden death last year. So if your husband's death was sudden, you would think that she would just be like, oh my God, I'm so heartbroken. I can't date anyone for a minute. I know when I had my breakup, I couldn't date anybody for two years. I've just watched... um. Tia Mowry's ex-husband say he cried himself to sleep every night for a year and a half. But these women, they don't think like that. They're ready to just get it on and have that hole filled up as soon as we hit the dirt. So his death was sudden. It was it's a year. And she's already out in the streets trying to find a new man that he can, that can bounce her around in the bedroom. So she's saying she's feeling lonely and isolated. She moved to um, away from her hometown to be closer to her eldest son. And once again, they want somebody to take care of them. So she moved to be close to her son so he can feel obligated to take care of her. And then she says, but I don't know anyone in this town aside from him. So she's saying, being so lonely, a few months ago, I started going on um, a social media site. I'm not going to say which one. in a dating app to try to meet men. Wow, look at it. She's hot in the pocket. She's a grown old woman. I connected with one man I was interested in. Instead of stopping there, this is what she says. She found a man that she connected with, but instead of stopping there, though, I kept chatting around and connected with seven more guys. I can't make this stuff up. This is a grown woman in her, I'm assuming she's probably in her 50s or 60s. So, so she met one man, and she found him interesting, and so she was just like, no, but I, if I can meet one this fast, maybe I can meet a few more. So she wasn't satisfied, so now with the option that was presented to her, so now she wants more, and now she's wound up with eight men, the, the initial guy plus seven more. And so now she's saying, I chat with each of them daily. So, oh my God, she has nothing to do. She's retired. She has nothing to do with her life, but just sit there and play with herself on the couch, on the sofa. I have no idea what she's doing while she talks to these men on the phone. They all say that they'll love me forever, but not one has come to meet me in person yet. I'd prefer to have a boyfriend whom I could actually meet in person. And you know why? She can't get the deed done. That hole can't be filled if they're not in the house with her. I don't make this up. I like all of them, is what she says. I like all of them. And I love something about each of them. But I feel torn since I can only marry one man. This is, once again, like I keep telling y'all, women have a builder bear. They, they like one guy because he has a big, you know what, his appendage. That third leg is just... It's just so lovely to them. It makes her mouth salivate. Then she likes another guy because he, his face looks very great and he's handsome. She likes another guy because he's, you know, he's a provider and he can do all this stuff and fix her car and fix the plumbing. And then she likes another guy because he'll take her out on dinner dates and buy her flowers. Then she likes another guy because he has great conversation and makes her laugh. She just keeps all of these different men around. This, this is totally ridiculous. And so then she says, but I feel torn since I can only marry one man. I hate to hurt seven men. Do you think I made a big mistake? I want y'all to pay attention to this. Do you think I made a big mistake by talking to eight men? That's the first question. I feel bad that I've been holding up their lives just to break their hearts. Lonely widow. She doesn't feel bad. 
No, she doesn't. She doesn't feel bad. Trust me. These women do. Th these are continuous games that women play all the way up into their 60s and 70s. And this is living proof of this one pitiful woman. So I want y'all to see what um, Annie replied back. Once again, white woman Annie. This is her column. I'm looking at her. I'm assuming that this is a, yeah, this is Annie. Annie Lane. Annie Lane writes the Dear Annie Advice column. Oh, young white blonde girl. These white women are just, they, they are horrible. These white women are horrible. So here's what Annie writes back. She first says, I'm so sorry for your loss for your husband. Don't feel sorry for her because obviously she's not sad that that joke is gone because she is already back out here talking to seven men. Her husband has, his body hasn't started decomposing yet and she has seven quote unquote boyfriends. It's wonderful you've taken initiative to reach out to others to alleviate your sense of isolation. Well, like, what, like when do people, when do women hold other women accountable and say, why are you talking to seven men? Why didn't you stop when you met the first guy and did you seem interested in him? Why didn't you just stop and see where that relationship went and try to build with that man? Why, why did you add seven more men into the mix? She doesn't give that advice. She just says, oh, well, I'm glad you reached out to people to alleviate your isolation. What, the one dude couldn't do it? But this is the advice that women give. They don't hold women accountable. They turn it always turn it on to the man. I'm going to show y'all she's about to turn it on to the men. You say, but you won't find real you won't find real companionship in men who can't even be bothered to meet you in person. So now she's putting it on the men. So see, this is what women do. They, she, they don't say, well, you know, why are you talking to seven, eight different men? Why are you being such a hot? Why are you hot in the pants? Why are you doing that? Instead, she's like, why are you talking to these men who can't even be bothered to meet you? Rather than wasting your time chatting with these men online, get outside and get to know your new town. And then she says, join the club, go walk and play tennis. The point is to plant your seed and let a social life take root. If you decide to try meeting men online, stick to well-reputed dating sites. And then she mentions some dating sites and then um, she kind of goes into that. But my thing is this, that is, so that's the advice that you have for these women. That's the advice. And that's the advice that women give to other women. They empower women to go out here and do stupid stuff. And then they turn it on to the men. And it's the failure of the man. Um, because he, you know, isn't doing X, Y, and Z. But here's a woman that just, she met one man, was interested in him, but decided to add seven more men into the mix. And she moved, since her husband died, she had to move and follow her son. Probably, I don't know where he, he lived, but she followed him just so he could take care of her. Because once again, as somebody has already stated, they're called son husbands. I think that's what they call them, son husbands. This is ridiculous. But let me know what y'all think of this article. Once again, this is in NJ, NJ, like New Jersey, dot com, and it's in the advice section. So check it out. It was, um, it was um, published on January 10th. I mean, June 10th, 2024. But definitely leave me some comments in the comment section. Also hit the like and subscribe. This is the Political Brown Kid. I'm out of here.